Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day 11. Now, last night I had a couple of skill points, but I had to put both of them into intellect to get that back to level 6 so we could maintain the motorcycle being unlocked because when we had the nerdy glasses on, those give you an extra point in intellect. But when we took those off and put on the lucky looter goggles, we lost that point. So anyway, I got that taken care of and got the motorcycle crafted last night. We got some gas on us. All the forges are running. The campfire is cooking meat. I put in some more wooden bars last night. Some going across here on the inside and also going across on the outside. So we pretty much got bars running around the entire interior of the prison right now, which is good. We're going to do some more work to the floor this morning. Still a lot left to do. Let's start over in this corner, though, and finish this off. And then we'll do a little bit more work to the front. And then we'll take the motorcycle out, do some looting, and then try and get back here at a decent hour so we can continue to work on the base since we will be fighting another horde tomorrow. All right, now obviously we have to do in here as well, but the asphalt has 1,500 hit points, so I'm going to put that on hold for now, and hopefully we can find an auger soon, because an auger will make that a lot easier. Oh, I also buried the land claim block, as you can see. It's still there, just underground. This way it's out of the way and won't bother anything. See? It's right there. Let's go check our vending machine here at the girls club first before we do anything else. Let me throw the remainder of this gas in inventory here. Okay, what do we got? Nothing. And it was a rock busters, but I'm not concerned about that now. I was really looking for either eye candy or uh, skull crushers. All right, let's find a place to loot. Got uh, special tots right here. Days End Suites. Nah, that's a whole lot of work for not a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm familiar with that house. You know, we always just do the smash and grab at this house. Oh, look, Fates Motel. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, I always do the quick run in and grab the main loot at this place and then we leave. But instead, let's actually loot the entire house this time. How do we get in? Around back, I think? Here we go. This must be it right here. There's a lantern, and we can climb up these things. It used to be around the garage to get in this place, so maybe they changed it up a little bit. Yeah, we're starting up on the roof. Which makes sense, because the main stash is down in the basement. I was expecting a bird up here, but no such luck. Where are you at, zombie? Come on. Bing. Pow. All right. Uh, yeah, man, I don't know, maybe they, sw either they switch this place up a little bit, or I, it's just been so long that I actually raided this entire house that I, I'm, I'm forgetting, because I, I thought you broke in through the garage, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Let's grab this cement, grab this cobblestone, let's keep it moving. Ooh, weapons bag. Hey, that's not bad, look at that. Level 2 pistol. And a double barrel shotgun. Let's bring that down. Why the hell not? We only picked up four shells for it, but I'll use them. Um, all right. Anything in there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, there's some medical supplies. Let's pop this open. There we go. Gunpowder. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at that. Making use of this thing already. I'll take that stuff. Oh, shit, stripper, damn. She's fucking light on her feet, even with them high heel shoes. Now she's dead. One shell left. Let's read this bike frame schematic and this challenge. Uh, kill some animals. I can do that, especially if they're chickens. Chickens. 
Some brass. Waiting for a zombie to pop out. Gunpowder and some cash. Alright, looks like we're dropping down. Let's just, uh, search all this stuff first. Ooh, another level 6 helmet we can sell. Some oil. Oh, another mushroom spore we can add to our mushroom wall. And some level 6 padded boots that don't really sell for much, I don't think. Oh, shit. Chill, buddy. He's feral. Come on. There we go. All right, let's get this shotgun out of here since we don't have any more shells. Um, I'm going to stick with the level 1 pistol for now. But later on, I'll, I'll take the fully automatic mod out of this level 1 pistol and put it in the level 2. Nothing in there. Uh, I don't mind running through the life of this level 1 right now. Because I'm going to end up scrapping it tonight for the pistol parts, which we can eventually use to craft either a magnum or a desert vulture. Nothing in there either? What's up with all these plugs having nothing? Medical supplies, okay. Some Altoids. What do those things even do? Damage mitigation, plus 50%. A severe drop in water, and the duration is two minutes. Okay, those might be good, like, during a horde fight. If you think you're gonna get hit a lot, I guess. Alright, out the window we go. Let's jump over to here. Got a purse. Some cash and iron arrows. Let's get in here. Let's wake this lady up. Whoops. There we go. I'm stuck on this glass. Fuck out of here, glass. What do we got in here? Oh, machete schematic. And uh, AP robotic turret ammo. Nice. We'll read that and hopefully find a robotic turret soon. Guess we're going back outside. Got a cooler right here. I'll eat your blueberry. We smash these windows, or uh, as a door. It's easier than smashing windows. Not as fun, but easier. Another bicycle chassis frame, and uh, inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons. That is a very good book to read. Where are all the zombies at? Here's one. Now here's two, actually. A hunting knife schematic, but to craft a good one, I think you gotta put skill points into, like, blade weapons or whatever that perk is. Same thing with the machete. And I'd rather not waste perk points doing that. Uh, I'd just rather wait until we find a good level hunting knife, which we already have a level 3, or a good level machete. Got a wolf right here. I knew I heard one. Ah, there we go. So much easier using the pistol. Instead of trying to shoot arrows into him, he would have ran away and then ran back and made a big ordeal over it. Unfortunately, he was not on the list of animals to kill. We still have to kill a rabbit, a chicken, a boar, a stag, and a bear. Let's actually take that off of the HUD right now. Let's not cancel it. Take it off the HUD. I think I accidentally canceled some jobs in the last episode. Uh, here, come on. There we go. Let's drop some stuff off, and then we'll get back inside. Let's get downstairs to the main floor now. Looks like a zombie must have busted open the front door. If this was Nightmare, I would seal that up, but since it's not, I'm not too worried about a zombie coming walking in here. Some people were saying I saw in the earlier episodes of Lockdown that walking zombies are too easy, especially coming off of Nightmare, but you gotta understand why I did it. Uh, deer. 10% more damage against deer. Nice. I did it because we need balance, you know? We're fighting a horde every three nights, which goes pretty quick. Even though I am liking the balance of every three nights, because it gives us some time to get shit done, but it also keeps us on our toes. Because every three nights comes, like I said, really quickly. Before you know it, there's another horde. I mean, there's another fucking horde tomorrow night. I feel like we just fought one, which we did. And that's the reason why I made zombies walk. Because if I was dealing with runners, I wouldn't be able to get as much done during the day. You know, yes, that adds to the challenge, but I wanted this series, I wanted 
the days where we don't have to fight a horde to be a little bit more chill, you know? And on top of all of that, I also bumped the XP up to 200%, which makes things get harder faster. You know, we've already bumped into one feral zombie. Oh, that's nice. I'll take that. We've already bumped into one feral zombie here. And the more we level up, the more we advance, the more feral zombies and runners we're going to start bumping into during the day anyway. You know, it just makes, like, early game... It makes you... It, it allows you to get on your feet easier when you don't have to deal with runners on day one. All right, wake up, you dead fucks. Time to... Uh, well, die. Again, I guess. And down she goes. Alright. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Probably the front door. That's fine. Close that door. Check this workbench out. Level 3 iron shovel. We have a level 4, but that level 3 will sell for a decent amount. We could chop up these bodies for nitrate powder, but... Not too worried about it right now. We'll do some mining for nitrate powder and coal here soon. Since we did put down a chem station and we haven't even used it yet. Herbal antibiotic recipe, that's nice. There's got to be... Ah, uh, yeah. There's a crate up there. How do we get up this ladder? Whoops. This way. Uh, yeah, so we want to get some coal and nitrate powder so we can get gunpowder crafting in the chem station. And we need to find the desert so we can get some oil shale and get gasoline crafting. We already found the gas can recipe. Another level 3 iron shovel. We'll sell that one too. Two empty cans. One empty can. One empty can. Come on. Ah, oh, bottle of water. When you're hoping for an empty can, you don't fucking get it. Down into the basement we go. This is where shit starts to get a little weird. Search this kitchen area real quick. That zombie you're hearing has got to be outside, not too worried about it. Uh, some food. I'll eat some. Take some. That's good. And, uh, alright. Scrap that can. We got a hidden room behind uh, these curtains here. But before we go in there, let me check that hole in the wall. Forget what's in here. Uh, just some medical supplies hidden in the furnace. Nothing unusual in here, just a morgue hidden in the basement. I mean, if you gotta get rid of a bunch of dead bodies, this is the way to do it. Put a crematorium in your basement. I knew someone growing up, I probably shouldn't be saying this. Let me just put it to you like this. If you know someone that owns a cemetery, a crematorium, and a strip club, keep your distance from that person. Okay, this is the final stretch right here to the main loot. Some gasoline. More gasoline. Some trash back here. Nothing. Here we go. You guys runners? Yep. Some of them are. No, oh, bottleneck them in the doorway. That's how you do it. Oh, shit. All right, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Big Mama's dead. Some oil. I don't think there's anything down in the graves. Let's check this coffin. Nothing. Water. Got a backpack, another coffin, and then that's going to be it. Corn seeds. What kind of rotten life do you got to lead to be buried with corn seeds? And that's it. I'll close that door, and the main stash is right in here. Oh, there we go. We'll uh, replace our fire axe with uh, that level 2 battle axe. Let's do that now. We can scrap the level 1, I guess. I want to switch out some armor here, too, but... 
We don't have enough inventory space to kind of switch out the mods right now, so we'll do that later. So if you're unfamiliar with this POI or if you haven't seen me do it in another video, this is the way we would have came if we wanted to just snatch the main loot. We got to dig our way out, but we would have dug our way in if we wanted to be, you know, quick and I guess cheap about it. All right, so when you're facing this POI, there will always be a tree to the left here and you just dig down next to the tree. You'll find that hatch. You open up the hatch. Go down there, you can snatch the main loot with no problems uh, and get the hell out of there. And it's a really quick, easy snatch and grab. But I've done that so many times in previous videos, I felt it was about time that we actually raid the POI legitimately. All right, let's see what else we can find here in town before we head home. The Fates Motel is a great raid, but that takes like almost all day. I'm looking for something quick or just looking to pick out landmarks. Like if we can find a paper mill, that would be great. Bob's Bors and Fuck Carl. This is a great place to raid if you want some food. So I'm going to mark this on the map. Uh, we'll just use the tent, I guess. Call it food. All right. This way we don't forget that when we need food, we can come here, get a shit ton of it. And look at what we have here. We just passed up on an easy snatch and grab. I'm not going to pass up on this one. We got the house on the hill here. If you want to raid this entire place, it will definitely take you like an entire day to do it. But we can just grab the main stash really easy. This is probably one of the easiest snatch and grabs in the entire game. You just pop open the porch right here and the hatch is already open waiting for you. You just cruise down this ladder. You're going to wake up some zombies doing this, but they're inside the house. They can't get to you. It's not a big deal. Just get down here, close this door, and uh, you got all the loot right here. Snatch it up real quick. Get the hell out of here. Uh, super easy. Hardened chest. This thing's got 10,000 hit points. We have six lock picks, so we'll try our luck. Ah, I guess today's our day. First try. Damn. Level 4 AK. Beautiful. Another level 2 AK. We're going to have plenty of stuff to sell. Do an extra 50% sneak damage to sleeping victims at night. We might have to do a night raid here soon. All right, I'm going to cruise around town to see if we can find like a paper mill or other places that we might want to raid in future episodes. Just kind of get an idea of what's around us. And then I think uh, we'll just head home at that point and continue to get some work done to the base. Eh, what the hell? Let's stop for a drink before we head home. I check the vending machine before we go in. Nope, doesn't work. Where's Buzz at? Fix your vending machine, Buzz. Oh, you got nurses dancing on top of the bar? This is my kind of place. Oh, there's a little backyard here. I don't remember there being a backyard at Buzz's bar. I haven't been here in a while. What can I say? Scrap the can. Let's get up on the rooftop. I wonder what's up there. There's a lantern leading us up there. Is there a stash of loot on the roof? I didn't think there was like a, you know, main loot stash here. Small little bar. Oh shit. There's a, there is. That's crazy. I had no idea. Another level two AK. How do you like that? Oh, we're gonna have to finagle some stuff here. Uh, we can put some modifiers in shit. That'll clear up some room. Steel tool parts. I want those. Let's put this mod into the shovel. Oh, the leather. We could dump the leather. Uh, what else? How about this painkiller? Yeah, we'll just dump that, take the steel tool parts, and uh, I think we are good. I'm going to scrap the military pants, but that's just going to give us military armor parts, which is fine. Um, all right, 
Let's get out of here. Our inventory's full. The motorcycle's inventory is full. I'd love to check out that passing gas, but we don't got room for anything. So let's get home, unload, and we'll spend the rest of the day working on the base. Let's do a little bit of upgrading to this roof here, just so I don't forget that this is something we need to start focusing on, because this roof here is just wood. And uh, if we want to hold this area down, which it's a nice area to hold down because there's a roof and it'll protect us from birds, uh, we want to upgrade it. It might not be a bad idea to remove some of these blocks, or maybe all of the interior blocks, and replace them with bars, so if birds do come attack, we can shoot them through the bars. It's an idea. For now, I'm just going to upgrade a bit of them. Uh, just, like I said, as a reminder that we got to do that shit. Uh, let's knock this out here, because there's no need for these uh, iron pillars, and they're just going to get in our way. There's two more over here as well. All right, let's continue working on the floor. Something I'm thinking about though is putting a roof over this entire place because if we're like on these bars shooting down at zombies, we're completely open to birds attacking. I wonder if we could put a rooftop over the entire prison. It would require a lot of support columns throughout the prison which I don't think the zombies would intentionally attack the support columns if they're just holding up a roof, unless we were standing on that roof and they were trying to get to us. But if we're standing on the bars, I don't think they would go after the support columns. Some stragglers might just because zombies are stupid and they attack shit at random if they can't get to you. But I don't, it's not like the whole crowd would start attacking the support columns. So it could work. It would be a lot of work to do that, but it's something uh, I'm, I'm considering. You know what I was just thinking about? If we find ourselves in this courtyard area running around, uh, we need a quick way to be able to get back up to these bars. So I'm going to make access on each watchtower using just a couple of ladders. Just like that. So we can run over here and bam, be right up on those bars if we need to. Let's do that on every watchtower, so no matter where we are in the courtyard, we know we can just run over to one of the watchtowers, and there'll be a ladder there that we can use to get up. Oh shit, this is part of the floor. This is not good, and I hear zombies. Alright, we should have put the ladders over here. Like this. We can take out this railing. There we go. Alright. Let's deal with these fucking zombies. Hey, you came knocking on the wrong prison, didn't you? Ah, slow your roll, little man. Okay. Let's knock out these two ladders over here so we don't get confused. These are not the ones we want to use. And we'll get back to work on the floor. Let's start down on this end. Alright, we got a lot of loot to organize tonight. We're going to make trader runs tomorrow, so we want to gather all the things that we're going to sell. Uh, I probably should make some more cobblestone. We got some... Oh, we don't have... thought I had some working in the workbench. Let's uh, get some moving in here. Let's do 500, because I want to use the rest of this stone to get some more concrete moving. Let's grab the cement and sand. I think I have some more cement in this forge. We do. Okay, 
see how much concrete we can make. 720. Let's do, uh, I don't know, 400 in this one. And the rest in this one. Here we go. Okay, like I said, I'm going to get this loot put uh, put away and organized, figure out what we want to sell during our trader runs tomorrow, and then I'll get some more work done to the floor, or maybe some more work done down in the mine below, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day 12. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.